On this episode, I'm going to show you how you can finally stop throwing away half-used cans of paint and prevent it from drying out. So stay tuned. Hi friends, welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Over 75 million gallons of paint is wasted and thrown away each year. A contributing factor to that is because paint cans are left half open, not properly sealed, resulting to drying out and being thrown away. This video has three parts. First, what causes these paint cans to dry up? Second, methods to use when opening up paint cans? And third, what are the best tips and tricks, tools, and best products out there that you can use so you can preserve your paint cans and make it last for a very, very long time. So let's get to part one. The number one contributing factor of why paint cans dry out, you guessed it right friends, it's air. When we get a new paint can, the go-to tool that most people use is the flathead screwdriver, which is not the best tool to use. Once we pry open this lid with this flathead screwdriver, it creates these dents around the lid and creates these little tiny air pockets, which causes the air to go in your half-used paint cans, dries it out over time. But what is the best tool to use to prevent this from happening? Well, when you buy your paint on these big box stores, whether it be Lowe's or Home Depot, most of the time they'll give you this free can opener where it looks like a key. What's great about using this key is that the purpose of it is to push the can lid upwards rather than using the flathead screwdriver where it pushes it and dents it forward. So what are some of the things that we can do to prevent these drip outs from happening? The next time we open up a new can of paint, So what you can do is you can get the Shoreline paint pour, very inexpensive, it's around $7. All you gotta do is place it on top like this, and you'll hear it lock in place. It's nice and sturdy. You can actually lift up the can once you install it. You can just pour your paint easily, like so. Once you're done, just grab your paper towel, wipe the spout, and then just take it off like that. If you look around the rim, there's no paint, and you can place back the lid easily with no mess. This is the Sherline paint pourer. After you're done, just go clean this up and you can reuse it over and over. So the next product up is the same concept, but it actually acts as a lid, and that is the Sherline paint can lid. This comes for two for $13. So let's go try this out. So the feature of this, it acts as a lid. It has a little open and close, and it has this little air valve right here, so it makes pouring easy. Place this right on top. It gives it a nice airtight seal all the way around. It's nice and snug around the lid that you can actually lift this up. And just to let you know, I'm not sponsored by any of these products that I'll be using in today's video. I bought this with my own money so I can demonstrate this on today's video. So let's open the spout, open this so we can have that airflow going. Easy pour. Wipe off the edge. Now looking around here, I don't see anything coming out. You can close this up, close up the air hole at the end. You can just store this wherever. It'll be nice and sealed for your next use. Sorry to interrupt your right quick friends, but if you're enjoying this video so far, kindly please press that like button down below. Share this with your friends and family so we can help out more people. With that being said, let's get back to the video. So two of these for $13, in my opinion, I think that's a good deal. Plus you can easily just take it out like that. And if you look underneath, it's nice and sealed. There's no paint around the rim. And you can just place it back up. Again, if you're interested in any of the products that I use within this video, I'll leave all the links on the description down below. This is paint pour spout. It looks like a hat brim and it fits all gallon paint cans. But just be very careful if you do plan to use this. Sometimes you have to really push it in just to make it fit, but it still sometimes fail like that. So yeah, I'm just not gonna trust it because yeah, it comes off easily. The next method, I'm pretty sure you're very familiar with this, is using masking tape. Now, I only have blue tape. I don't have the green frog tape, but if you have the green frog tape, that would be the best one to use because that seals up a little better. 
So just grab yourself a strip like this. Uh, this nice artificial spout at the end. Take one side. There you go. This one did fail. <laughs> now we have to end up cleaning that up. After you finish stirring the can, instead of letting this go onto the side, which can, you can possibly get some paint around the rim, try getting yourself a cheap coat hanger. Just like that. This is inexpensive. You can do this at home. You can reuse it. Just place this over the edge like this. Hold on to one side and then you can use this as a strainer. So you just got done using your paintbrush. You can use that, lift it up and strain the rest of your paint. So this is best to use when your paint can is half full or three quarters full just so that you don't get this dip back like what happens there when you're trying to strain it, it dips back down so that you can have that nice empty space hollow spot on the bottom so that when you do this you don't have to lift up like this. But again this is another option that you can do instead of wiping it at the edge of the paint can. Those are some of the methods that you can try at home to prevent this from happening. It works well with brand new paint cans and half used paint cans as well. So what if you have a paint can that you only have a quarter inch of paint or a little bit of paint left on the bottom that leaves you with all this air space inside this can and could possibly dry out your paint. Well, the best way to do it is to transfer over that paint onto a new container. Let me show you this product. So I found this touch up cup. It comes three in a pack and it's $16.95 for all three. Let's go test this out. It looks like it holds 13 ounces of fluid. It has a little shaker ball, it has a little rubber rim at the inside to prevent any air from going in. And it looks like it has a good airtight seal to it, like so. Close it up. All you gotta do is shake it up like this, kind of like a protein shaker, like you're going to the gym. So the next time you wanna use it, let's open it up. You see the seal? The paint stays inside and not on the outside. It didn't leak. So you, this will definitely keep all your paint in order and it looks organized on your shelf. Another similar type product that you can use are these Tiki Crafters. They come with two in a pack and it's around $20. It's a little more expensive, but it has another purpose as well. So let me show you. So just like the touch up cup, you can hear that airtight seal. It has this nice rubber seal around it to make it airtight. And it also has shaker ball that you can drop in there. And it holds up a lot more paint than the touch up cup if you want to go out this route. Compared to the touch up cup, you can definitely store a lot more into this container. But the other feature that I like about this is that you don't necessarily need to pour your excess paint in here. You can just take out this ball, save it up for later. And if you have a quart can like this, you can place it right on top and then seal it up like that. If you don't want to end up pouring all that paint and it leaves this nice air tight in there, good storage container for those size cans. We got that double feature. And yeah, let me know what you think on the description down below. With all the ideas, products, and methods that we use in this video, let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite, which one you actually use already, and if you have any other new ideas, please leave it on the comment section down below and let's share it with the rest of the community so we can help other people out. If you made it this far to the video, thank you so much friends for watching. Hopefully I was able to provide you some tips and tricks and you can finally stop throwing away that half-used cans of paint and prevent it from drying out. If you found big value to this video, please press that big thumbs up, press the subscribe and notification bell, and I'll see you friends on the next video.